Last time we talked about gravitational forces, one of the four fundamental forces. And uh, and you spent um, the weekend's homework uh, exploring this somewhat. There are, uh, sometimes it's important to know uh, some things that, that aren't in equations. So one of the things that's not in this, so this says if there are two objects, object one and object two, the force that uh, object two experiences due to object one, there's some mass, there's a mass of one, mass of two, the distance between them, a unit vector. Notice that there's nothing about other objects. And usually when there are gravitational interactions, there's more than two objects around. So the Earth is attracted to the Sun, but it's also attracted to the Moon and Mars and Venus and, and various other things. And one of the most important things about this equation is that those other objects don't appear in it. The interaction between these two objects is not changed by the presence of other objects. Now the net force on something would have you'd have to sum up all the interactions, but the individual interactions are just just depend on the two objects and the their relative locations, and so that's important. It's it's simpler than it might have been, uh, and uh, and important to note that 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 that's the way it is. So okay, just to review. Uh, Suppose that uh, a planet exerts a gravitational force whose magnitude is 3 times 10 to the 23rd newtons when the moon's at a particular location. And the question is, suppose that at a different time in these orbits, the distance between the moon and the planet is twice as large. Now what would the force on the moon be due to the planet? Okay, popular answer is four, and that's correct. And how did you figure that out? How did you think about it? Yeah, so this number got doubled, but the number is squared. So this is a this is a kind of proportional reasoning. So the force went down by a factor of four, actually. So instead of one over R squared, we have a 1 over 2R squared, which is equal to a 1 over 2 squared times R squared, or 1 over 4R squared. So the kind of proportional reasoning that, so very good.